In this video, we will learn about conditional probability. Here, the Spanish club is having a potluck lunch where each student brings in a cultural dish. The 10 students randomly draw a card numbered with consecutive integers from 1 to 10. Students who draw odd numbers will bring main dishes. Students who draw even numbers will bring deserts. If Cynthia is bringing a desert, what is the probability that she drew the number 10? There are a few important things to remember in conditional probability. There will be a condition given to you and a probability needs to be found out. Now, when you look at the last sentence, if Cynthia is bringing desert, they have not told given or no uh, headline words, you know. Usually, whatever is the sentence after given is the condition. But here, you cannot see anything given or anything. But you can see this. What is the probability, right? What is the probability she drew the number 10? So, this is what we need to find. Now, in conditional probability, we consider this to be B. Okay, the probability of B. But there is a condition that has happened, condition A. This is how we write conditional probability. What is the probability that, that she drew the number 10, provided there is something already happened? So she is bringing desert has already happened. That means if she is bringing desert, what is the condition? She picked an even number. So now if I write this condition first, probability of A is even number. She picked an even number. And the probability, uh, what's the formula for this? It's probability of A and B divided by the probability of the condition, that is probability of A. Now, what is probability of A and B? That is, an even number is picked. In this problem, they have not exactly told it's an even number, the condition is even number. They have told it's desert. But deserts are only bought by the students who pick the even number. So, we need to understand that is what is the first probability condition event A. Now, probability of A and B would be picking an even number and getting a 10. So, there are 1 to 10 numbers. What is the probability of picking an even number and getting a 10? It's only 1 because 10 is the only even number and 10 itself. So, the probability over here will be even and 10. Now, what are the probabilities in this case? How many even numbers are there? Out of 10, there are 5 even numbers. Our total is 10. What about this? Even and 10. There is one number only. That is only the 10 divided by the total outcomes. That is total number of 10. So this is what we need to substitute in the formula now. We know the probability of A and B is 1 by 10 divided by the probability of even numbers is 5 by 10. Now this can be simplified. 5 by 10 is 1 by 2. So you can directly write it as 1 by 2. But I, I prefer to keep it this way. Why? Because you can easily cancel this out. And it's 1 by 5. That means 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 or the probability is 20%. So this is how we solve this problem. You can see here the answer would be 20% directly. Now uh, this is a MCQ part. So you don't need to write everything in detail. Just get to the answer. That's enough. These problems, I'll try to do it directly. I'll write the formula. This is a very important formula. B condition A is probability of A and B divided by probability of A. So remember, we need to know what is the condition first. If the word given is there always, most of the time, that is itself the condition. Generally, whatever is given, that is the condition. Uh, it's almost always, I can say. Now, let's read this. A card is randomly drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that the card is king of diamonds, given that the card drawn is king? So, the given that is the condition, the probability of A, that is, given A. And what is basically B? What do we want? It must be king of diamonds. Condition A, that is the thing. Condition is over here. So, what is the probability of A first? The probability of A means getting a king. What is the possibility? There are four kings and the total cards in a standard deck is 52. It's already mentioned. But even if they don't mention, you must know it's 52. That's the probability. And what about getting a king of diamond? It's only one king of diamond divided by 52. So cancel this out. 
it will be one fourth. So it's 25 percent, 0 0.25. Now let's make sense of this for a minute. Now what is the probability that it will be a king of diamond given that the card is a king? So you already have only the kings, right? So there are four cards, isn't it? Four cards are kings. That can be of spades, king of spades, king of clubs, king of hearts and kings of diamonds. So spade, club, heart and diamonds. Now what is the probability that you will pick the diamond king over here? It is one out of four. This way you can even understand directly but it's best to write this, this formula and solve it up because this gets trickier in some complicated problems. But with the formula, it's much easier. So the answer over here is 25%. That's it. In a game, a spinner with seven colors of the rainbow is spun. Find the probability that the color spun is blue given that the color is one of the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Now, given that, the condition, I'll directly write the formula. The condition is three colors are given out of what? Seven. What is the condition? It's blue. So it's one out of seven. So it's one by three. And you can also see that blue out of these three colors is one third, 0.33 or 33 percent. 15 cards numbered one to 15 are placed in a hat. What is the probability that card has a multiple of three on it given that the card picked is an odd number? Given that card picked is an odd number. Now 15 cards are there. Here, remember, it starts from one, 215. How many odd numbers are there? If you do 15 by 2, half will be odd numbers. You'll get 7.5. Why? Because 1 to 15 is an odd number, right? So you need to take 14. 1 to 14. How many are there? Odd numbers, 7 are there. And 15th card is also odd number plus 1 to be 8. Or you can count them, count them out. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. There'll be 8 cards. So the condition of getting an odd number is 8 out of 15. So because the total cards are 15 and 8 are odd in that. Now what is the probability that the card has a multiple of 3 on it? Now here remember whatever we write up is and. These both it must be a condition of both. Probability of A and B. The probability is multiple of 3 and it's an odd number. Let's write the multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12 and 15 because there's only 15 cards. So this is an odd number. Over here we have another odd number and odd number. So there are 3 out of 15. So P, A, A and B will be 3 out of 15. Now then we solve it up. 3 by 8 is the answer. So that would be the answer for this particular situation. A blue marble is selected at random from a bag of three red and nine blue marbles and not replaced. This is a very important sentence. What is the probability that the second marble selected will be blue? First, let's write the condition. A blue marble is selected. How many total marbles are there? There are 12 marbles and blue is 9 out of 12 or 3 by 4 or it is 75%. Now, what about the above one? It is and, right? So, what is the probability of getting blue and blue? So, first time when you pick blue, we know it is 9 by 12 multiplied by second time. What is the probability of getting again second time a blue? That would be 11 by 8. Why? Because it is not replaced. The condition does not change. Getting a blue is 9 by 12 itself. But the about term B and B getting blue and blue would be first time 9 by 12 but second time it would be reduced by 1 uh, because it's not replaced 8 by 11. Now this is the thing 9 by 12 into 8 by 11 this cancels with this so your answer is 8 by 11 that's it. So this is how we solve this problem it's 8 by 11. A die is rolled if the number rolled is less than 5 what is the probability that it is the number 2? The condition over here, probability of A is less than 5. How many numbers are less than 5 in a die? There are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Total options are 6. What is the possibility that it is 2 and it is less than 5? It's only 1 by 6, right? Because only number 2 is possible. Now here, it's 1 fourth. 
Now, in another, another way, you can understand this. What is the probability of getting 2 out of the first 4 possibilities? That is 1, 2, 3, 4. You will get 1 fourth. So if 2 dice are rolled, what is the probability that the sum of the faces is 4 given that the first die roll is odd? Now, this one is a little bit complicated because we need to know the possibility of die rolls, right? Uh, I think so. I have the possibilities over here. It's very handy to know whenever you roll two dice. The total possibilities are 36. And now, sum of faces is having four. You can keep counting it. But I will tell you another method without counting it as well. First of all, first die is odd. Now, what is the possibility of getting odd die? There are three. Uh, now, only about the first die, okay? So all the odd numbers, you can do one thing is count all these odd numbers. That's one way. But another way is easy to understand. We have six possibility. One, two, three, four, five, six. So half of these is odd numbers, right? So half of the time you will have odd numbers at the beginning. So it's 50%. Directly you can write it as 50%. That is the condition given. Uh, that's the first number is first roll die is odd. Now, one more thing is, the sum of the faces is 4, but here the condition is first one must be odd. So, it can be 1, 3, 5, but 5 is it possible because 4 is, uh, when you add 5, it's already more than 4. You need to have the sum to be 4. So, only 1 and 3 is possible. Now, which are the numbers which will make the sum 4? It can't be 2, it can be 3 over here, not 4, not 5, not 6, here also. It can be only one because no other number would make it uh, make the sum four. So there's only two possibilities over here. Two out of 36. There are 36 total possibilities, isn't it? You must remember this. When two dies are rolled, one die will give you six possibilities. Another die also will give you six. Six times six. So 36 when two are being rolled. If it is only one die, it's six. So that's the sample space total outcomes. That's why it's two by 36. Now we basically solve this up and we do 1 times 18, so 1 times 9 times, so it's 1 9, so the answer should be 1 by 9. Here it's again the similar one, uh, we have done this before, a spinner numbered from 1 to 12, 1 through 12 is spun, find the probability that the number spun is 11, given that the number spun was odd. Here given condition is odd, so it's just half. You can directly write half because odd numbers are half in this 12. And the probability of getting 11, that is 1 by 12. So it will be basically 1 by 12 divided by 1 by 2. So it's 1 sixth, 1 out of 6 chance. If two dice are rolled, what is the probability that the sum of faces is 8, given that the first die rolled is even? We just now did this similar problem. Now, first thing, see what's the given condition. It's even, so it's half. If it's odd, it's also half. Now here, the sum of the faces is 8. So, let's write the even numbers. It's 2, 4, 6. Now, there are plenty of possibilities. What about, these are only the three uh, possible first die, right? Because we can't have 1, 3, 5. It should be even. Now, here you can have 2 and uh, 2 and 6. 2 and 6 will make 8, 4 and 4 will make 8, 6 and 2 will make 8. Is there any other possibilities? No, because you need to have even numbers at the first die and the sum must be 4. So only there is 3 possibilities, that's 3 out of 36. So here we can have 3 1 times 3 12 times and 1 times 6 times. It's 1 out of 6. So the answer is 1 out of 6. The final question in this topic. A school picnic offers students hamburgers, hot dogs, chips and a drink. At the picnic, 60% of the students ordered a hamburger and 48% students order hamburger and chips. What is the conditional probability that student who orders a hamburger also orders chips? Now here in the sentence, you need to understand what is the condition. Conditional probability that a student who orders a hamburger, this is the given condition, also orders chip. This is what we don't know. See, it's question mark, right? This is what we need to find out. So here the probability, the condition, that is probability of A, is hamburger. 
hamburger. And what is the condition A and B? A and B is hamburger, I'll just write H, and chips, C. This is the two things. Now, we know the formula is probability of A and B divided by A, probability of A. Now, let's see whether we have the given uh, all the details. A probability of A is 60% of the students who order hamburger. Okay, 60% order hamburger. And what is the other one? 48% of students order hamburger and chips. B is the chips. That is what we need to find condition, right? Probability of B condition A. This is the formula. And that is 48% given over here. So basically now, this is what it is. Now just put in the calculator, you will get the answer. Um, you need a calculator for this. So let's just check the answer here. And we will do the others and then because this is the answer, just put in the calculator, you'll get a single digit. Now, if 50% of the students order chips, are the events of ordering a hamburger and ordering chips independent? Explain. Now, here 50% of the students ordered chips. Okay. Now, I don't know what's the answer we get. But anyways, if 50% are ordering chips, are the events of ordering hamburger and chips independent? No, they're not independent because they're dependent on each other. So, because they're dependent on each other, this is no answer, is no here. If 80% of the students who ordered a hot dog also ordered a drink, and 35% of all the students ordered a hot dog, find the probability that the student at the picnic orders a hot dog and drink. Now, this is not the condition probability. Condition is already given. 80% of the students who ordered, an, ordered a hot dog also ordered a drink so probability of b and a b condition a is given that is 80 percent it's already given equals to what is p of a and b that is what we need to solve you know hot dog and drink that is unknown i'll take it as x what is the probability of a 35 percent of the students order hot dog that's 35 percent so how do we find probability of a and b that is hot dog and drink you just take 35 to the other side it will be 80% times 35%. Just put it properly in the calculator, you will get all these answers. So let's just look at the answers. The first one over here, it's 80%. Why they have written like this is because they have written in fractions. So 60% is what? 3 by 5. And 48% is 12 by 25. But you just put 48 and 60, it's much easier. The question B is no. And this is over here, 0 0.8 times 0 0.35. 0 0.8 is 80 percent multiplied by 35. So these are the answers. That's the end of this topic. If you have any doubts, post them in the comments. Please try to read the question properly, understand what's happening in the question, and then solve it. A quick reminder and a humble request, if you're finding these videos helpful and beneficial, please do share them with your friends and also do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.